Alright, hi everyone. Okay, so today I've got something to show you which, um, it's not really new, they have been out for a few months now, but trying to get these over here is getting very difficult these days. Yeah, um, these have never made it to the west and I can't see them ever coming to the west. Um, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog bath ball, or if they ever did come over uh, come over here in the West, they'd probably be rebranded as Sonic the Hedgehog bath bombs. Yeah, that's right. These are actual, um, you know, those bath bombs that you get, and you can just put them in your bath, and they fizz and make really nice fizz things. Yeah, I don't really know what the point of them is, but you just drop them in the bath, and they sort of blow up and make them turn the bath all water all different colours and. There's glitter and bits and stuff in there. I, I don't understand them. But yeah, um, the, these are those. And what was really cool about these is in the middle of them is a little toy. So after the bomb dissolves, you get a little toy that you can play with, which is really cool. And you can see along the bottom here, um, yeah, it is really cool. It even says on the box. <laughs> so yeah, you get Sonic, Tails, Amy, Knuckles, and Shadow, who looks grumpy as usual. Anyway, um, the actual box design, there's not much on it. Um, this is an actual retail box that I purchased. It was the last one they had on the, on the website. And yeah, good luck trying to get one of these now. It's very difficult. Um, the back of the box is just instructions on how you display it. Um, yeah, not really much to say on it. Um, it's a nice design. Um, I'm not sure really what else to say on that. Well, let's open it up now and see what's inside. And, yeah, I'm not sure you're supposed to display it like this, but I think that's pretty good at displaying it. And then you can just pick them out there. I don't think there's any need to fold it into different bits and bits and pieces. But, yeah, you can really see how many bath bombs there are inside here. Okay, so we know that there's um, five in the whole set. And, unfortunately, these are all blind bags. Oh no, what do you do? You're going to have to buy a million of them to get the one you want. Alright, let's take a look at the actual um, the actual bag for a moment. So, I really like the packaging on this, it's really cool. Um, yeah, um, they're, they're, I don't know what else to say on it. it. You know, it actually reminds me a lot of Sonic Advance era packaging this. Which is really strange, the fact they've gone for that and not a more modern... Um, design, but yeah, it does look a lot like Sonic Advance era um, design work. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've got the the figures in there and instructions on how to on how to use them here, and there's some more instructions in Japanese as well. Now, despite these being a blind bag. I have been told by some people, by some others that have got them, there is actually a way to tell which figure is which. And how do you do that? Well, I'm going to grab a second one, and let's grab a third one as well, just to be absolutely safe on this. Now don't worry, you don't have to make it by weight. There is actually a way to tell, and I'm not 100% sure at the minute where it is, but apparently on the back of these there is a code, and the code corresponds to which figure is inside, so it is actually possible to get a full set right off the bat if you're lucky enough to find this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to do some, just some looking on these bags right now just to see if I can figure out if there is some differences, okay? Okay guys, so I sorted all the stuff out and Merch Kitty decided to come see what I was up to. So, yep, there we go. Yeah, um, this isn't the most, um... Thank you, Merch Kitty. You off now? Nope. Okay, so yeah, this isn't the best way to, um, display all these, I freely admit. But, yeah, there is a way to tell, um, which figure is which. Now, if you look on the back of the the packaging, you'll notice there's a code here. Thank you. And she's off. Okay, that's that's um, Merch Kitty's had enough, she's off now. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, there's a code here, and it, that was a phone, never mind. Yeah, there's a code here, and it begins AFLB005A. And I found three of these that have that code. 
and there's uh, there's a couple more actually in this box. I've not taken them all out, so there's so there's um there's still about ten or so just um just left in there at the minute. Anyway, on the back of this one, you'll notice that the code ends in zero zero five e, and on this one, it ends in zero zero five b. And again, there's a couple of these which have the same code. And this one here ends in 005C, and this one ends in 005D. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that all of these are the same figure. And if you've noticed, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And there's five figures in the set. And I've not been able to find a six code and it's just the it's just this five so i'm pretty sure that this is the way to tell which figure is which so you can actually if you were able to if you actually did see these in a retail shop lol because odds are you're only going to see this in japan you can actually buy a full set of five right off the bat without having to worry about duplicates. And the best part about it is say you wanted a second figure of a specific one you can just figure out what it is from just picking one up and having a look at the code. You don't need to worry about weighing them, and yet I have seen people actually weigh blind, blind bag and blind box figures because they have. And <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, but it is the best way to tell. Anyway, um, so what do I do now? Well, I suppose what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to open up a set for myself. And you might be thinking, well, why don't you keep them all sealed? Yeah, I was going to do that, but what I found out about bath bombs when I was looking this up is they're biodegradable, meaning over time, these things are going to start to dissolve in the bag. And that isn't a good thing. No, that's not, that's not a good thing at all. That's going to become very disgusting, it's going to smell really bad, and I've got to say, there is actually a smell coming off these now. It's not very strong, but it is noticeable, and it smells of freshness, just what my skin needs. Yeah, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to actually open up a full set for myself because I do want to look at the figures, but yeah, I am going to show you what it actually looks like when you, dis when you drop one of these in water. So yeah, let's go and do that now. Okay guys, um, so I was just doing some experimenting and this is the best way I could open one of these bags without completely destroying it. And I have to say, the moment I opened it, there was such an odour of bath bomb that came out of this, it sort of made me gasp a little bit. Yeah, but anyway, this is the, the bath bomb. Oh wow, I can actually feel a figure inside rolling around. Yeah, this is what the bath bomb looks like. It's a... Uh, Strange blue colour. Also, really good of them. They've actually wrapped it in shrink wrap, which is nice. That way it won't, at least it won't make the insides disgusting. But yeah, um, I'm not too sure if it is viable to actually keep these sealed up or not, which is, hmm. I'll have a think about that. For now, I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to bath bomb one and then I'll have a think what I'm going to do with the rest. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's drop one of these in a bathtub. Okay, so here we are now in the kitchen. Hey, wait a minute, you said you were gonna chuck this in a bathtub. Yeah, I was gonna do that, but um, I decided not to, because A, I don't know exactly what is in this. Um, yeah, and I don't wanna risk staining the side of the bath with this. I um, don't know what's gonna happen when I put this in. It might blow up, it might just fizzle out, I don't know. So I'm gonna do it here in the kitchen, because it'll be a lot easier to clean up. And um, also, we're going to use a bowl of water, or just an old bowl that we have for um, storing chemicals and stuff in. So yeah, um, if it does stain it, it's not going to be a big deal. Yeah, the first thing I should mention is, when I took this out of the uh, shrink wrap, there was like a really powerful smell of bubblegum. You know like how you used to get those bubblegum flavoured drinks and like bubblegum flavoured ice cream? That's what this smells of, and it does actually look like that colour. So, okay. Um, Let's drop this in and see what happens. Wow, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? Wow, it is actually turning the water blue very quickly. Um, oh, I was kind of hoping it would sort of fizz and move around and do more really cool stuff, but no, it's not. It's, um, it is literally just doing that. Although I have to say, that water is going 
chemically blue. It's like, um, yeah, um, that is, I don't know if that's, I'm not sure if I'd be terrified if I threw that in a bath with me, actually. It, it just looks like some kind of slow-moving, oozing, polluting chemical that's slowly turning the water. It's almost like drain cleaner blue. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it a bit better, but... Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fact it just moved it. You, you remember those old, like, B-movies that are usually on really late at night? Um, when it's, like, a re really bad monster that sort of crawls along and slowly melts and dissolves. It just reminds me of one of them. Now, I can actually see, um, there is something here, and, and it looks like it might be the thing that the toy is in, but, um, yeah, uh, this is weird. It it really has made the water like this really strange chemically looking blue and I don't know what else to say about it. It just looks weird. Yeah, well I was hoping this would be more um more exciting. Oh. Oh, it looks like there's some sort of clamshell. Yeah. Aha. Right. So we can see that the bath bomb what remains of it is there and this thing is now floating around. So I'm guessing that is our fun toy. Yeah. Man, that was... I don't want to know if that was anticlimactic or not. The fact that the water is now this really strange deep blue colour. Anyway, let's fish out the... Ah! <laughs> I, oh god, there's, <laughs> there's actually liquid inside it. Yeah, it, it looks like it's got some holes in it as well to... um to drain out. I'm going to go over to this side and just wash this now because this is quite gross. In fact, oh god look at this, it's actually staining my fingers. This is actually stained guys, I can't get it off. <laughs> Right, okay, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to try and get this strange chemical stain off my hands, because this is disgusting. Okay, so we're back here and um, my finger is still slightly blue. Thank you very much, Japanese merchandise. Yeah, and the actual figure... Bum, 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 bum. It's Shadow, the ultimate life form, the perfect children's toy. Gets hypnotized in every game and laughs about it. Yeah, um, it's actually quite a cool, cute little figure, actually. Oh, look at him there with his little angry face. Yeah, um, this is actually quite cool. Yeah, I like this figure. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to um, obviously do the other ones. Um, I might show those off at the end of the video. Um, I've just got to reset all the stuff to throw bath bombs in. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, this is what you get. It's a little, tiny little shadow figure. Oh, bless his cotton socks. He's got little shoes on as well. Little jet shoes that he runs really fast in. <laughs> Let's keep belittling shadow. Um, yeah, this is actually quite a nice little figure. Um, it's very, very hard and quite sturdy. Um, it feels kind of slimy at the minute. I think it's still got some of the bath bomb residue, residue on it. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, um, this one was actually in this packet, the one that ended in 005E. But what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the rest of them and I'm going to drop them in so we can actually see what those toys look like. Okay guys, so yeah, um, it was exactly what I said it was. If you go by the codes on the back, you can get a full set in one shot. Um, I only opened five of these and I was able to get the full set. So yeah, that's really cool. And before I start talking about the figures, I think there might be a problem with these bath bombs. I'm not sure it's supposed to do this! Yeah, it's turned my hand and fingers blue. <laughs> yeah, um... I've tried to wash this off and it isn't coming off. <laughs> I know it will come off eventually and I probably should try some hot water and really scrub it. But yeah, um, it does turn your skin blue. So be very careful if you decide to jump in a whole bathtub with these or you will go blue. Anyway, let's talk about 
the um, the actual figures themselves. Um, they're really cool for what are just little toys that come inside of bath bombs. They they remind me in a weird way of those monster in my pockets that you used to get back in the nineties. They they they're a little bit squishy when you squish them, but there's the paint job on these is really good. I mean. When you consider over here that we've had like um, gacha toys and um, you know those those toys that you put money into a machine and you turn a handle and it gets deposited out, that this is a really good paint job and it's really good quality as well. I'm very impressed with these. Yeah, so that's Sonic for you. Yeah, let's have a look at Tails, or as he probably should be called, Adora Tails because doll. Oh. Yeah, um, oh, they're actually giving him his two tails as well. Yeah, you can see that there is still some of the blue gunk on on him there as well. Oh, yeah, we've got a copyright logo too, which is good. And again, the paint job is... Oh, wow, I've just noticed. If you look at his eyes, his eyes are actually different shades. You know, there's like a lighter blue there and a darker blue to show the eye pupils, which is really good. The detail on these is fantastic. Wow. So, yeah, there we've got tails. And now, oh, fell down. And now let's look at Amy. And Amy's not bad, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. There's something about her which kind of looks a bit weird. Not sure what it is. But again, um, paint job is really good. I've not noticed any paint errors at all. And I mean, look at this. We've got like little fine paint details here where her eyelashes are. And there's no errors or mistakes on them whatsoever. And even the shoes, the shoes are fine too. And it's time for knock knock. It's knuckles. Yeah. Um, knuckles again. Um, I can't see any paint errors at all on this guy. And oh yeah, he's got his tail as well, which is good. Um, again, it feels really good. You know, it doesn't feel like it'll break easy. Again, there's no errors on there. You can actually see the smile on him as well, which is really good. Yeah, really impressed with these so far. And of course. As we've seen already, Shadow. And what is amazing about Shadow, and I've only just noticed this, Shadow has actually got his, um, the little jets. They're actually carved into the into the material there. I don't know if you can see that, if the camera will... Yeah, you might just be able to see that there. Yeah, he's actually got those put on him as well. And when you consider the fact that he's got all the other, you know, paint details on, like he's got his red stripes there on his spikes, and he's got, like, a red bit there in his eyes and there's red there as well to show that he's angry. Rawr. Yeah, he's actually really detailed and there I've actually tried to put um individual fingers there as well. It's not like a blob. Um I'm pretty sure all the other characters do Oh I've just noticed Knuckles. If we go back to Knuckles, he actually has his knuckles. You see that? Sorry the camera is really not liking the this box. It's very difficult for it to focus on it. I'll see if uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Will you work? Come on, focus. You can do it. You can probably just about see it, even though it's very blurry. Yeah, unfortunately, um, my camera isn't liking this checkered surface here. It um, is trying to focus really, really uh, on that more than anything else. In fact, I might have to... Oh, there we go. Yeah, at least it focused on shadow, okay. But yeah, again, it's very well detailed, really like this. I'll just quickly show you Knuckles again now, see if it'll focus on him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can actually see his Knuckles there. I'll tell you what, I'll actually bring up the figures a bit closer, just in case it... Oop, knuckles fell down. Yeah, you can see what I see about Amy, how she's kind of weird looking, and I'm not sure why. I think she might have a few faults on her, actually. There's a fault there, and... Looks like there's some faults there as well, but she's the only one that I've noticed some errors on. And here we got tails. Again. Again, I really like this. There's something weird going on there just by his ear, can you see? But otherwise I think he looks really good. And then we got Sonic. Come on, focus. There we go. You can really see how blue that's made my fingers. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have blue fingers now. <laughs> That's something that I'll have to deal with now. I've got blue fingers. Yeah, so if you want blue fingers or if you want blue skin, if you want to chuck yourself in a bathtub with these things, you'll come out blue. 
Okay, so I will just rescue Knuckles and he can rejoin his friends. Hey. Okay, so what do I think of these? Um, I really like these figures. I really, really do. Um, the the fact that they're inside a bath bomb is just absolute mad genius and Knuckles will not sit up. He's just... Yeah, Knuckles can just uh, roll around over there for now. And... Ah, there we go. Yay! Fix the zoom in problem. F focus problem, even. Okay, yeah. What do I think about these figures? Um, I really, really like them. I think they're really good little figures. Um, the sad fact is you will probably have to import these uh, because they're so they're so difficult to get over here in the West right now. Um, I will be taking a batch of these to Western Supersonic this year and I will be selling them there. So if you're able to come along, you might be able to pick some up from me. Um, the it's just a shame that these never came to the West. They're such good little figures, and I love the idea of them being in little bath bombs um, that you can just, you know, use, and then there's a toy inside. That's a really good idea. The only downside is, as you can see, it's turned my skin blue, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, so if you wear, have these, you'll have blue skin. You'll have to deal with being blue for now. Um, yeah, I just wish they'd have come out over here in the West because they would have been so cool. And the fact there is a way to identify which figure is which without buying multiple ones is also a huge bonus. I really wish that other blind boxes would do that. But, um, yeah, um, I, I really like these. And if you can find them, and I would definitely pick them up. They're really good. Uh, just don't actually get into the bath with the bath bomb because it might turn your skin blue. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching and hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.